Yeah, and now in your day-to-day life, because I want to know what you do, because you really do look fabulous. Well, thank you. How, what does it take? What are you doing? I do uh, yoga religiously, but three hours a week, so, you know, an hour uh, every other day, and uh, Sunday's off. And we hike, you know, in California, you know, we, we drive to the store, but we hike 10 miles <laughs> in, the, in the mountains, so I'm an avid hiker and always have been. So that's, that's my exercise, and, you know, I live in a house that's an indoor-outdoor house with a lot of stairs, so I take the stairs all the time. But I, I replace my hormones according to my deficiencies uh, as per blood test. I replace minerals and nutrients as a according to my blood work and my deficiencies. So I'm always filling the tank. I eat organic food. I go out of my way to eat organic food. And I sleep eight hours a night without drugs. I think good thoughts. I have love in my life and I love my work. So I think that's what it is. You, you know, everybody's afraid of aging. But if you if you get where I am now, I'm 68, if I, you get there and you're in good health and your brain is working and your bones are strong, uh, that's a major plus because what you get is some wisdom and starting to pour and perspective for sure. You um, can assess things differently like, ah, yes, I remember that. But what I feel is an overall sense of contentment. I have what I want, and that has nothing to do with anything material. I have what I want, and uh, it's blessed. Yes, and you've learned that lesson the hard way, surely. The hard way. I think that's your... why life sends you us. Uh, those blows because either you learn from it and grow from it or it it knocks you down i just have never let anything knock me down yes i've been i you know you get depressed and you have to take a deep breath and pick yourself up and dust yourself off but i do it and i think that women particularly are very good at that we we uh we understand you have to carry on we're mothers and we uh we run the family still, and yet we have careers. We have a lot of things going now, but we're hardwired for multitasking, and I think we do it very well, and we get, should get a lot of credit for being the fabulous women that we are. <laughs> yeah, and women give back. You know, that, that's why totally. I started the show. I was very ill, and I got over it, and I said, you know, i got to do something. I, I've got to tell people, you know, there's, a, there's other ways to get better. And There are other ways. So you've got a new book out, mm-hmm. and it's you were sick and your husband. Yes. And that's why you wrote this book. And, you know, that's one of the reasons I love talking with you also is that you have written all of these books. And there really are a lot of people out there. They can't afford some of these integrated practitioners that really can restore, help you restore your health. But there's so much in your books that can guide people. And what I'm writing about in Toxic, T-O-X-6, is I interviewed the five top environmental doctors in the country. So it's like going to an appointment, and they each gave me everything they had. And so you get this great meeting with the doctor, and somewhere in there you're going to see what your issue is that's going to resonate with what that doctor is saying. But I, I did it for, for me, for my husband, for my two granddaughters, and for my stepdaughter, all of whom we live in. My husband and I live in one house. The granddaughters live in another, and the daughter lives in another house. And we all got hit so hard. And this is a healthy family. 